Yay, power's back. <laughs> Our house is still standing, everything's fine. So that was fun. All right, right back into this. You should see the disaster I have all around me. It's my husband's like, okay, well, have fun. Because having my son went to do some stuff, I'm like, thanks. But okay, let's get right into this. So, oh, I do have a revision already because as I was kind of putting some things away, I noticed that a lot of the colors that are in the Profusion Rubies palette are also in the Jaclyn Hill Volume 2 palette. I mean, a lot of very similar colors. So I said, you know what? That's all I need. I don't need to keep this one. So this one is now going into my declutter pile. Next up, I have some Storybooks Cosmetics um, palettes. This is the um, Little Red Riding Hood palette. So it's one of the small six pan ones. Super cute. I pictured having these and like displaying them somewhere. I don't think I'm ever going to do that, even when I do have like a designated beauty room. So I'm going to go ahead and let this go. I also have the um, Little Briar Rose palette from Storybook Cosmetics. These are super cute, like a book, but I just, I don't use them. And, you know, and these are the colors in there. And that color story doesn't really do much for me anyway. So let it go, girl. And then the last one I have is in the little pouch and everything. I have someone in mind who I think might like this one. So, um... I'm maybe seeing if she wants it, but it is the Mean Girls um, Burn Book. Can't talk. Mean Girls Burn Book. It has a sleeve actually on it. And then these are the colors in here, which are really fun. But again, I've got those types of colors in other palettes. And so it's kind of like, you know, do I really need to um, hold on to that? It's big and bulky, takes up a lot of space. I don't ever pull it out and use it. So, she gone. All right, and let's get cruising. This is the Dose of Colors Friendcation, um, Desi and Katie Friendcation palette. It has awesome colors, love it, keeping it. This is the Private Society um, Smoke Show palette. Looks like this. And these are the shades. I love the shades in this palette. It has awesome cool tones, but then the awesome warm tones too. So fun palette, keeping that. I like the formula a lot too. And I also have the Private Society um, Girl Boss palette. And these are the shades in that. And they are very pretty, keeping it. The LMR Cosmetics uh, Reina Del Caribe palette. Looks like this, gorgeous, keeping it. This season this time of year is when I really love like once I get a tan this palette mm -hmm. I have the um Mel Thompson and Sydney Grace Tiny Marvels palette looks like this absolutely beautiful palette and as most of you know she is no longer with us so um very happy to have this palette I'm very thankful for that so definitely keeping it it's a beautiful palette Next up is the Ace Beauté Flare Palette. I wanted this palette for so long. And my cousin Debbie, oh my goodness, she spoils me. She got it for me. You guys, look at that palette. That is so stinking gorgeous. This like mauve color right here, mm, so good. Love it, love it, love it. Thank you, Debbie, again. <laughs> this is the Pinky Rose Cosmetics Sunflower Palette. I got this from Raven from the channel Beauty Rave, which I need to check on her. I haven't seen her post in a while. Um, these are the colors. I had a couple that didn't work out great, but others that worked out really well. So I'm going to play with this some more and um, because I really do like the colors in it and everything. And yeah, so I'm keeping it. I have the Tardis Pro palette. I believe this was one that, yeah, Debbie had um, that was a used palette that she asked me if I would like. And I said, yes, please. And I've actually used that palette a lot. I can smell it as soon as I open it. It smells so good keeping it. And I have the Tardist Pro Remix, which is the more funky, fun version of that one's, you know, more neutral team down. And then this is the really colorful one. So this one has more shimmers, pretty much all shimmers, actually. So keeping that. I have the Zoeva Share Your Radiance Palette. This is from Riri, Brutally Honest Beauty. It is beautiful. I am keeping that. I have the Viseart um, Neutral Matte Eyeshadow Palette, so it's just matte. It's the only Viseart palette I have, and I really do like the quality of it, so I am keeping it. I have the Alien Cosmetics, which is now Unearthly Cosmetics, right? Um, and this is the Phases Palette. This, my cousin Debbie got me. You will notice the theme. A lot of things are from her, <laughs> and it is a beautiful palette. We did a fun collab with it where her husband's picked our makeup. 
one time. Oh my gosh, it was so fun. We should do something like that again, Debbie. Um, but yes, definitely keeping that. I have the Hank and Henry Teddy Palette, and it looks like this. It is such a gorgeous, like, fall color palette. So keeping that. I have the Blush Tribe, which is no longer in business, and Paulina Beauty um, Palette. So it's a collab that they did with her. She has been, like, a YouTuber that I've watched pretty much since I started watching YouTube. And so when she came out with a palette with them, I snagged it. Now at the time, these were her colors. She loved big, bold, bright looks. And she kind of doesn't anymore. And it's funny because I've kind of started moving that way. She moved that way a long time ago. But um, I am feeling the same way. But she still likes to do things and incorporate, you know, some of her stuff sometimes. And I totally get that because I still like to incorporate pops of color. So I am not ever getting rid of that. <laughs> I have three Kat Von D palettes. I have the Esperanza palette that looks like this. Like how beautiful is that artwork? Oh, I love it. And this is just a very unique color story in this palette. I love it. So I'm keeping that. I have the Kat Von D Divine palette and I grew up watching Hairspray and so Divine um, was an actor in this movie and this is the color scheme which looks all sorts of crazy. I won't lie. But this Babs color down here is a really cool color. It looks, it's just looking gold right there. But it's actually a really light, like a champagne-y color. I don't know. It's hard to get the color of it quite right in the camera. But anyway, I love this palette for sentimental reasons. Just, it's like, brings a lot of memories. So I really like it. And then I have the 10th anniversary palette. This is the first gifted eyeshadow palette I ever got from Joanna Super Lady. I absolutely adore her and um, I will never ever get rid of this for one. Beautiful. Kat Von D I believe did do this artwork because it's like her tattooing and then this is the color story and it is beautiful and I just I love me like oh doesn't that look nice together? How can I do this better? Hmm. <laughs> I'm already itching for the next. I mean, I already know I'm getting another one with my sisters, but um, I, I'm itching. I'm thinking I might do my whole forearm. It might happen. We'll see. Okay. And then I have the MAC Flame Buoyant Palette. This is a fun palette. I really like the colors on this. I'm so happy that I have it. And now that I'm looking, like these colors up here are totally colors in that Ruby's palette too. So yeah, so it was a good choice to let that Profusion Ruby's palette go. Now I have my Nomad um, Cosmetics palette and um, palette, palettes. This one is the Italy palette, Toscana. And this is gorgeous. I got this from Marina from Boxes and Deals in our 12 Days of Christmas advent that we did two Christmases ago. And it's a beautiful neutral palette. Very happy to have that. I have the Berlin Underground which is discontinued. I don't know if you can still get it or not, but oh my gosh, it's like grungy wonderfulness. I love this palette. So definitely keeping that. I won this from them. This is their America's Parks palette. So good. Look at those shades. Absolutely gorgeous. That's my kind of palette. So keeping that. And then this was one that I might, I had picked out that my husband got me for my birthday which was on Easter in 2020. Yeah, that all worked out beautifully, didn't it? Anyway, um, <laughs> and so this is what that looked like, looks like. And these are the shades. Now, I'm gonna be really honest. I never reach for this. This is not my color scheme. It's pretty, it's cute. It's just not really me, but um, it has sentimental value to me and it is pretty and it's not like it's something that I'm like, oh, I would never use that. So I am keeping it. <laughs> I have this Urban Decay I can never remember what the name of this palette is. I know somebody will tell me. Somebody told me last time. I just can't think of it right now. It looks like this. And um, actually, um, this is a palette that Clara Barrera sent to me. She had asked me, she had some gently used makeup that she was like, you know, would you be interested in it? And I was like, yes, please. And so this was one of the palettes that came, that she sent. And so this end is all like neutral shimmers. And then this other end, I'll just pull the whole thing out. There's a mirror in the middle, um, is like funky, fun colored shimmers. So it's like a very fun, unique kind of style palette. 
and I have had a few Urban Decay palettes that I'm going to be honest, I did not really care for the formula. I ended up getting rid of some mini Born to Run um, palettes in my last declutter and stuff. The formula just doesn't thrill me, but this one I do like, so I am going to keep it. Then I have my Michaela and Glam Light palette. Like, I'm sorry, you just, you have to play with that. It's a requirement. And um, I won this from Alyssa Pope. And these are the colors in there. And holy guacamole. I love it. It's so pretty. Like, oh, these purples. So I was really happy with the look that I did um, in a video with this. So yes, loving and keeping that. <laughs> oh, so speaking of Urban Decay, this is the Distortion Palette. Super fun packaging. And this is what it looks like. And it is very pretty, but it just doesn't really scream anything exciting to me. And so I am going to go ahead and let that go. Now we'll get into my ABH palettes. So I have the Sultry palette. More cool toned, beautiful, keeping. The Jackie Ina palette. Deeper tones, more jewel tones, gorgeous, keeping it. Oh, that was a close one, kids. I might have cried, not gonna lie. Okay, this is the Riviera. This is not my favorite, never has been since I bought it, but it was the first expensive makeup that I bought and like eyeshadow palette. And so for that reason, I will keep it. It has the sentimental and like one of those things where I'm like, if I get rid of it, I'm like, I paid for that. That was the first expensive thing I bought and I'm getting rid of it. For some reason, I just can't do it because I'm super thrifty. If you don't know me, I'm crazy thrifty. So that would be painful for me. <laughs> this is the Subculture palette. And actually, this was um, a gently used one that Debbie asked me if I wanted. And I said, yes, please. And I love it. I love these shades. Definitely me. Same with this Prism one. She also sent me this one that was gently used. And... I used to have the Alter Ego, um, like the dupe of this and liked it. So once she sent me this one, I got rid of that dupe one. Because I think I cracked a shadow on that or something anyway. And this is the Soft Glam, which was my very first ABH palette. And I actually won this in a giveaway a long, long time ago. The girl that I won it from doesn't even have a channel anymore. So, but beautiful. And then I have a couple of the Norvina collection. I have... This mini pro pigment volume two. Which are these fun summery bright colors? I am keeping this for a pop of color. I just think it's kind of fun. And then these were sent to me by my super sweet friend Maureen. Maureen Hansen sent me both of these. Like, hello. So first off, this is the hmm, what you call? What you call, girl? I don't remember whatever it doesn't say <laughs> whoops there went the little paper um so these are the shades in there absolutely beautiful i don't even know where that went that went a long ways and then the orange one this is volume three but the other one didn't have a name on it so maybe it's volume one i don't remember and this is whoo yep oranges greens that's me so those are gorgeous and I am keeping those. Then we've got, I have four BH Cosmetics, which I guess went out of business. I didn't even know that was happening. Um, and I have the Blueberry Muffin palette. This is from their something weekend, something weekend vibes. Super cute. This is very cool tone, but then also has like the deep browns. So Really fun. It's kind of hard to see the colors on that holographic background, but it is a very pretty palette. And so I'm keeping that. This is the Weekend Festival palette. And I actually bought one of these for myself and my sister. And it's still one of my sister's favorites. And I love it too. So I love the mix of the neutral, you know, kind of tones. And you can do a very simple look or you can add those super bold pops color. That is my jam. I have the Zodiac. And this was sent to me by my cousin Debbie. I think this might be the first palette she ever sent me. I think so. And it looks like this and it is beautiful and I will never get rid of it and I use it, so yeah. And then the last BH one I have is the Studio Pro Ultimate Artistry Shadow Palette. 
there was nothing special about this palette. The formula is fine. Like the shadows perform really nicely. However, there's nothing like, you know, it screams to me from it, but it is the very first palette that my husband, well, he bought me like several BH palettes that I had kind of picked out, but this was like the main one. And so it's the very first one I really started getting into makeup. So this holds a special place in my heart. It will always be in my collection. That's just the way it is. And yeah, but I'm also noticing there's some colors in here I don't think I've ever used. And I'm like, you know what? I kind of want to use that color. So yeah, I should do that, right? Mm -hmm. And now we'll do my color pop. I have Mickey Mauve's or mauves, as some people say. I feel like in the US we say mauve and other places say mauve, which mauves would make sense, like making mauves sounds more like making moves. And there's like, I like to, we say mauve it, mauve it, but mauve it, mauve it would make more sense. Like I'd like to move it, move it. I don't know, but we say mauves here, <laughs> or at least everybody I know does. Um, so I think it's maybe an American thing. I'm not really sure. But anyway, that's the Making Mauves palette and it's absolutely gorgeous keeping that. And that I received in a little back swap that I did with my friend Jojo from, well, she lives in the US, but she's actually from New Zealand. So yes, love it. I have the Going Coconuts palette. This was one that I bought with a gift card for my oldest son that I got for Christmas from him the year before last, I think. And I love that palette. Simple, pretty, yep. The Perception palette. And oh, these colors are so pretty. I forget about it. See, I need to pull this stuff out because I know I really love that green right there. And I love that blue that's down here. And, and I love that purple. Like, I know I really like this palette and I have not used it in a long time. So yeah, I need to be using that. I have the Good Sport palette. This has been one of my favorites for a very long time and continues to be. It's not going anywhere either. I have the Boudoir Noir. And this actually, I pulled out the other day because I'm like, I wonder what that palette, I need to look at that because I probably don't really need to keep it. But then I looked at it again. I was like, actually, yes, yes, I do. <laughs> the color story is just very unique in this palette. And it's very pretty. There's like that kind of greenish, but it's like a, like a greenish gray. I don't know. The colors are just very unique and I really like it. So I'm keeping it. Give it to me straight. Looks like this. Great colors, can't go wrong with this palette. Keeping it. The You Had Me At Hello. These are a little darker. Super pretty. I love doing like a good, you know, kind of um, mauve kind of eye with that palette. Beautiful. And I've got the Stone Cold Box, which I just did a video that made me laugh and I was really happy with it. So I'll link it up here if you haven't seen it yet. Um, it's a date night, like from start to finish getting ready, like me with wet hair out of the shower all the way till the end being fully ready. So, um, but this is what that palette looks like. Absolutely gorgeous. Keeping it. And then I also have the Bambi flower palette, which is super cute and purple, but I think I am actually going to go ahead and let this one go. I also have the Aura and Out palette from ColourPop. Wow. And it looks like this, which super fun colors, but I don't need them. I just don't really wear those types of colors and I have them kind of in some other palettes. So I'm gonna go ahead and let that go. Okay, you guys, we are in the final stretch. I cannot tell you how many times I've had to break and like move away for a little bit because sitting here and opening all this stuff and doing everything is like, hurting my shoulders, which is giving me a headache. And I don't really want to get a migraine from doing this. Um, but it has made me realize some things. So let's go ahead and finish up. We're at the very end here and see what the rest of my collection is. And then we're going to talk about some stuff real quick. Um, I know this video is already going to be heck along. So yeah, we'll just, let's just go. All right. So this is the Marc Jacobs Frivolux palette. And this was from my beautiful friend, Leanne Soreo. And it looks like this very pretty purple palette. It's got some unique kind of shades to it that I really enjoy. So I am keeping that. And then I also have another Marc Jacobs palette that is from Senia. And this is the Cherific, Cherific, <laughs> Cherific palette, which, oh my gosh, can you stop with that packaging? Like the color, everything about this is just so good. And 
the inside doesn't disappoint either. So this is what the shades are like inside of there. Sorry, I'll get my face out. Very pretty, so obviously keeping that. Now I will show you my Huda palettes. So I have the Pastels Rose, and that looks like this. It is very pretty, but the shades are very light, and I do like to have something a little darker to build up with, so I would pull another palette for this. So for that reason, I'm going to go ahead and let this go. Next up is the Warm Brown Obsessions. This is the first Huda palette I ever had, and I still love this palette. It's a very pretty palette. These are tones that I love. That metallic in there, it's like a foiled metallic, is like one of the best ones in my collection. I love it, so I am keeping that. Then I have the Emerald Obsessions. That looks like this. And it is a really cool palette. You know what? Hold on, let's look at something. I was gonna compare it to the Emeralds from um, Profusion, but they really are very different. Um, so so I, I won't compare it that way, but... Um, hmm. I don't think I need this palette. I don't think I need it. I'm gonna let it go. Next, I have the Huda Beauty Rose Gold Palette Remastered. I got this from Leanne Soreo also. As you guys will notice, most of my makeup has come from friends. Like, I have the most generous, sweet friends, or also from giveaways is how I've acquired most of my makeup. So truthfully, I have not paid for most of it. And um, I'm very thankful for that because I don't have that in my budget. So to have such generous friends and to be able to win giveaways and things like that has been huge for me. And that's why I like to be able to do giveaways too. So um, I just wanted to mention that. But so this palette, Hello Beautiful Shades. I do love Huda um, formula. Her formula is gorgeous. So definitely keeping that. And then I have the Mer Mercury Retrograde that I got from Clara Barrera. And that one looks like this which is a very stunning. I especially enjoy these shades right over here. So yes, absolutely love it, keeping that as well. Now I will go into, I have a couple NARS palettes here. I have the Suede palette, it's just a little, it's like a six pan, yeah. It looks like this. I don't think I need this. I have no reason to keep this, so I'm going to let it go. It's a nice formula and everything, but I just don't need it. Then I have the NARS Ignited palette. And this one is all shimmers, I believe. If I can get it open, I'll show you. Oh, no, it's not. I lied. There are mats over here, but then mostly kind of these shimmers. A lot of them are kind of like more like toppers. It is a very pretty palette, but again, I don't need this, so I'm going to let that go. Now we're getting into the bougie I don't have a ton of bougie, but what I have, I'm thankful for. <laughs> so first off, I have the Natasha Denona Sunrise Palette. Looks like this. This I also won in a giveaway from Claire Barrera. And oh my gosh, you guys, like this palette. Oh my goodness. This shade right here. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I'm all about that. Gorgeous palette. Obviously, I'm not getting rid of that, right? This one is a little tougher. This is the Natasha Denona Tropic Palette. It was a gently used palette that I received from um, my friend Joanna, Super Lady. And um, she was not thrilled with the formula of it. And she sent it to me to see, you know, if I could get enjoyment out of it. And I'm going to be really honest. This, this is terrible formula in this palette. Um, to go from this Sunrise one is excellent to this. It's like... Two, you would not think it's from the same company. I don't know what it is. Everything gets like hard pan. I have scraped it, like the um, all of the uh, shimmers. They're very lackluster and just, let me kind of show you. Cause it's, I'm so sad because I want it to be really good, you know? Um, so like, here's three of the shimmers, which look so pretty on there. But then I put them on my eyes and it's like, you just can hardly see them. But look how pretty they are. It's like I want to, but you know what? Because I have started doing more toned down looks, I am going to give this another try. Because maybe now that I'm not doing such bold looks, I would actually appreciate more the, um, you know, sheer kind of formula of these. As opposed to before, I was just kind of like, geez, they're like 
not showing up that great. Geesh, listen to me, what a dork. Um, but you know, it was just like, I don't know, but the mats aren't great in it either. So it's kind of strange, but I'm going to try it out again and see. So I, I'm just, I'm not willing to let it go just yet. <laughs> and then my last three palettes are Pat McGrath palettes. This is my very first Pat McGrath palette that I ever acquired and I won this in a giveaway several years ago. This is the um, Mothership Sublime Bronze Temptation and I'll pop out the little thing here so you can actually see the colors. These are the colors. They are gorgeous. So girl, you're staying with me because I'm not even about to get rid of this. Then um, my friend Maureen, who sent me those Nor um, Norvina palettes, she also had ordered this Pat McGrath palette, um, not this past Christmas, but the Christmas before, and it arrived shattered. So Sephora told her to keep it, and they sent her a new one. So she asked if I would be interested in the one that had been a little bit shattered that she would repress. Are you kidding me? Of course. <laughs> and so Maureen sent this to me. And so it is the Mothership Mega Celestial Divinity palette. And it is so beautiful. Such gorgeous shimmers. I did have to even repress again once she sent it because a couple of them had re kind of broken. But who cares? Because heck yeah, that's gorgeous. The sucker needs glitter glue though. You better use some glitter glue unless you want to have it all over your face. But that's okay because once you know it, then you know what to do and it's no big deal. And then my last um, Pat McGrath palette was sent to me as a gently used palette from Senia. And I was so excited to get it. She was like, you know, do you mind if it was, uh, no, 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 I do not mind. <laughs> and so this is the Mothership Sublime Golden Opulence. And same thing, I'll pull out the little thing here so you can see. And these are the colors. I actually use this palette quite a bit. It creates such a gorgeous look. And I actually use um, the four, so kind of like this little quad right here a lot as a look and it is absolutely beautiful. So um, I am so thankful to have this palette as well. So that is my palette. I did the same thing in my last collection video and missed these three palettes. So here we go, real quick, I'm inserting this here. I have the Kleidos, um, the first three of the Futurism collection that they came out with. So this one is Sci-Fi Green, which is one of my absolute favorite palettes of all time. Looks like this. It's amazing. And then Futurism 2, which is Cyber Bronze. I love the packaging on these. I love everything about it. This formula is put to dang good. And it looks like this. And then the last one. I should put this on the right way. And the third one is Futurism 3, Astro Pink. And that one looks, I don't know why I'm struggling so much. Probably because I'm trying to hurry because I know this video is already a million years long. Thank you for anyone who watches the whole thing. And these are the shades in this one. Super awesome too. All right, now back. Collection. <laughs> There's a lot of them. I'm going to put up on the screen how many there were total. Something that I discovered going through all of this was, dang, I have a lot of palettes, which I already knew, which is why I wanted to do it and be able to declutter. I realized how many things I just am not getting use out of, and it doesn't make sense to hoard it because it's just taking up space and I'm not using things. The other thing I noticed, I have always been very weird about keeping packaging, keeping everything in the box. Well, you know what? I think that keeps me from using things because then when I'm in more of like a hurry or something to get ready, I'm just grabbing for things that I already know exactly what the color story is inside. I'm not looking at things because I have to take it out of the box and open it up and the sheet falls out and everything else to look at it. Why am I doing that? That's so dumb. So I am throwing away the boxes. There's a couple of things I'll keep boxes to, but for the most part, I'm getting rid of the boxes, rid of the little plastic sheets inside so that when I go to do my makeup, I can be like, oh yeah, what's this palette I have? Oh yeah, oh yeah. And be able to look so I can you know, easily see what I have and be able to pull from different things because I tend to grab for the same ones just because I know they're the tried and true. I know what I'm getting when I open it up, you know what I mean? And so um, that is a new way that I'm going to be doing things with my makeup so that I can get better use out of it. And I also really think I do want to start doing more of like a shot my stash kind of situation where I pull a few palettes 
for several weeks or something, even if I just do like two weeks or something and stick to just those palettes. If I really feel strongly, like I have a certain thing that I'm going to or doing and I want to use a certain palette, then I'll do that. I'm not going to hold myself to like some weird strict rules, but um, just be able to get more use out of my beautiful, I have a beautiful collection here that I'm so thankful and grateful for and I'm not giving it the attention it deserves. And i you know, I'm just realizing like, this is makeup. Like why have a million things that you're just having sitting here and like, oh, because it's pretty. Well, it's not pretty just sitting in a box. Like I want to be using it. And if I'm not using it, I want someone else to be, you know, be able to use it and feel beautiful in it. So I'm going to be taking, um, well, so I will show you right now everything. Oh, I know what I was going to say. <laughs> I decided for these two makeup geeks, palettes, letting them go. Uh, you know, I had them in a maybe, but nope, they're not maybe anymore. They're going to go. So I have, I'll show you my whole thing of giveaway. So everything that I have got <laughs> inside of here is going to be stuff that I am going to send on to people. I am going to be giving some stuff to family. I had those two palettes I'm going to give to my grandma. I have a couple other things I'm probably going to give to some family and some friends. And um, there's a couple things I might sell on Poshmark, but then I will be coming back and I'm going to show you guys from my whole entire collection and declutter series, things that I decided to declutter. And I said I was going to be doing a giveaway with brand new unused makeup and one with gently used. So if you don't want gently used makeup that's been sanitized, then just don't enter that one, you know. But um, so I thought I'm going to go ahead and do that. I will get it all together and we'll do that in a separate video because it'll be easier that I can just show you each thing because this has already been so long. So I am excited about the things I was able to let go of. Um, they're beautiful things. They're, it has not been easy for me and I definitely have always tended to hold on to things. And I am very sentimental, but I'm starting to realize like it's makeup. Like this is not some super serious thing. And even with the getting rid of boxes, I'm like, oh, but what if I decide I wanted to give it to somebody or want to sell it and now I don't have the box. If that is one of my biggest regrets in life, then good Lord, thank you. Like, who cares? <laughs> so I'm like, get rid of the dang boxes. So I already started. I've got a garbage bag here filling up with boxes and all those dang little plastic slips inside of everything. Like, why do we do some of the things we do? I don't know. Maybe it's just me. I know it's not just me, though. <laughs> but I hope you guys enjoyed this series. And thank you so much for hanging in here with me for how long this was. And so I'm going to stop rambling now because I want to uh, go ahead and let you go. And coming up soon will be the giveaways with you know, the new and gently used makeup. So if you are interested in, you know, entering some giveaways, I want to be able to share stuff like people have shared with me. So um, I hope that you guys are excited about it because I am. And now I'm excited to just kind of rediscover my collection again and um, see it in a different way. I think I'm going to organize it differently and everything so that it's just, it's fresh and new to me and it's just fun all over again. All right. Thank you guys so much for watching. You're awesome. And I will talk to you very soon. Bye. Thank you.